Howdy, everyone. It's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by talking about the movies, obviously, the TV shows, merchandising, whatever the case may be. So, for today's video, I'll be reviewing yet another sports themed kind of a thing, I guess. Um, cheerleading, I guess. Whatever. The film I'm going to be reviewing is the one titled Gotta Kick It Up. Yeah, ugh, one of those extremely cheesy Disney Channel original movies again. Ugh. I want to do something else. Ah, oh, Mr. Monkey! Why don't you get a job? No, you can't have this movie. I'm not going to buy you a copy of this. Go get a job. I mean, really. Yeah, that's what you get. Anyway. Alright, as usual, folks. Let's talk about the story. So let's begin, shall we? So anyway, of course, it's going to be about dancing. Whoa, who didn't see that coming, huh? Mm -hmm. So the characters are going to be pretty young, of course. And, yeah, it, the thing is that this has an school setting. Again, who didn't see that coming? Anyway, yeah, it's going to be pretty competitive, competitive, I guess you can say, of course. And that's the thing, folks. And there's going to be one, this one woman who's going to do her best to, to teach the students. But, of course, it's easier said than done. Uh, yeah. So yeah, this school has like a dance thing going on, this dance team. It must have a new leash on life. So it was thanks to this one teacher who lets them in on the secrets of this um um Latin rhythm, I guess you would say, because the students are or of of a Hispanic heritage or whatever. Well yes, I do appreciate Disney being, you know, inclusive. That's fine. It's just that the overall story is bad. It's very typical, very generic. Uh man. They could have done a lot more with this, but no, let's go on the most typical route with the storytelling. Ugh. Man, it's lazy. Yay, Mr. Monkey, you became really annoying. Woo! Let's celebrate because he's obnoxious. Shut up. Anyway, like I was saying. And of course, the dialogue isn't very good either, folks. Okay. There you go. Not that I was expecting any Shakespeare, though. So, if anything, it was pretty boring, really. And then, some people might actually compare this movie to the Bring It On movies. Just, you know, the Disney style or Spanish version, I guess you would say, in some ways. Are you kidding me? I don't like those movies either. They're super cheesy. So is this one. Ugh. Oh, crying out loud. Really? You still hanging around here? Didn't I just tell you to get a job? I don't care if it's like 3 in the morning. Go. Go find work. Oh, he never learns, does he? Uh, this movie is extremely predictable. You can already guess what's going to happen at the end of the movie within, what, 20 minutes? That's not a good sign. But yeah, folks. Okay, aside from that, I know, I understand this film is trying to have a message. Like, DC film, like a lot of DC films I tend to do. Which is fine. But, again, in terms of execution, the delivery is pretty bad. Of course, folks, so that... I didn't like how that was set up right there because... It could have been more, if anything, it felt like wasted potential. That bugs me a lot. Just no. I mean, yes, the Disney, yeah, the original Disney Channel movies, uh, these kind of thing, it tends to um, not be very good anyway. So, again, of course, my expectations weren't that high. Not really. Kind of think about it, no really warrant. But it managed to disappoint me anyway, considering the fact even the music that was produced for this movie is isn't very good. 
and the dance moves that the characters were doing were, were nothing too fancy, really. Like, no. And of course, you keep coming back over and over again because you're lazy. You're a little leech. Yeah. Yeah. Little moron. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, as you can guess for yourself, this is supposed to be one of those feel good type movies. And yeah, in the 1990s and early 2000s, Disney has produced this long line of movies like this. And it really doesn't try to stand out from the crowd, aside for, from what? The main character being Hispanic. Aside from that, it feels like any other movie that's uh, that Disney has made trying to be, you know, really cheerful and happy and go lucky, which I don't have a problem with, really. But, again, it's what they did with the overall idea. It doesn't have that much of an emotional impact like they should have had with this idea of the story. But, yeah, just very disappointing as a whole, because the thing is that the script writing is very good. The characters felt like maybe they tried to have something. They were trying to give them personalities in a lot of ways, but it's just the way they were written in a lot of ways. Oh, come on. What was that, Mr. Monkey? You want to steal this movie? You want to find it? No, I, I can't allow you to do that. Oh, boy. So, literally, all the characters I'm, I'm supposed to like, they came off really not three-dimensional. They felt flat. So, again, I'm going back on how they were written in the script. Ugh, man, no. Hmm. Anyway, so if anything, it's boring. It's really boring. Anyway, I'll give this an overall rating. Of a 4.8 out of 10. It's a 4.8 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Ugh, man. Aww.